The four domes at the Anasis Island Wastewater Treatment Plant are a familiar sight to anyone driving over the Alex Fraser Bridge. These buildings are called trickling filters. In spring 2020, one of those domes had to be removed. On April 29th, we had the removal of the trickling filter number one uh, dome. Uh, the lift of the dome was part of the refurbishment project for rehabilitating uh, and refurbishing the trickling filter after its initial 25-year lifespan. The trickling filter contains equipment that uses a biological method of removing organic materials from wastewater. Replacing the large equipment meant having to remove the roof. It is the first time that we are removing the roof. The last time the roofs that actually got moved was when they were being installed back in the late 90s. Lifting such a large structure is challenging on several fronts. To help ensure success, some of the dome's triangular panels were removed in advance. The diameter of the dome is similar to like an Olympic-sized swimming pool, and the weight of the dome is comparable to about 30 full-size vehicles. To do a lift that's complicated like this, wind plays a huge factor because of the surface area of the dome. You could have huge safety risks if the dome started swinging and counterbalance the crane to the point where it was outside its safe lifting radius. So engineers did a critical lift plan prior to the lift of the lid and determined the percentage of the surface area that needed to be removed so that we had a safe lifting capacity. We were given the limit of roughly six kilometers an hour wind speed tops in order to remove the dome. After the dome was successfully lifted, work began to refurbish the trickling filter and assess the dome's panels. After the dome was removed, it was determined by the engineer that the panels needed to be replaced. They're replacing those panels with a brush blasted aluminum so that there isn't a reflective property to make sure that driving over the Alex Fraser Bridge is safe. The plan is to refurbish one trickling filter a year. That will take us to 2023 when all four trickling filters have been refurbished. And that's planned to build two more after the next expansion project.